a sea of bills? Then it's time to play Debt. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. And now, let's meet today's contestants. I'm Christopher, and I'm in debt because of my studies at NYU. I'm Marshawn, and I'm in debt because of my BA in social science from Antioch University. I'm Nick, and I'm in debt because I went to business school at Emory University. Hey, it's college week on debt, and class is in session. So let's bring on the patron saint of student loans, the dean of debt, Wing. Thank you very much, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of Debt. Our contestants today, Christopher, Marshawn, and Nick, all find themselves in a financial hole thanks to student loans. And by the end of this show, one of them will have a chance to climb out of that hole and walk away with their loans paid off. So let's get this party started. Our first round we call General Debt, and here are today's categories. Fictional You. And Costello's baseball team, Dan Quayle Spelling Bee. True Lies. And finally, I got hair like Kenny G. Now, this is an elimination round. Only the two players with the least dead at the end of the round get to move on and have a chance at going home with. Yes, that's the way we play. Nick, since you have spent less than your opponents in the game of life, you get the honor of selecting our very first category. But to make things fair, we are going to even you all out to the average debt amount of the day. And your average debt is nine, ooh, it's up there, $9,494. You guys are big spenders. <laughs> Two final reminders. All the questions on debt take the I am, you are format, and you will be penalized for an incorrect answer. All right, big spenders, let's begin. Nick, select the first category. Wink, I'll take, I've got hair like Kenny G for minus 150, please. Okay, here's your question. I'm the twisted sister lead singer who relies on my flowing kinney curls to inspire crowds who want to rock. How about it, Nick? Uh, you are D. Snyder. That is correct. You have $150 knocked off your debt, just like that. I'll take, I've got hair like Kenny G for minus 200, please. Staying in that category, I'm the singer who took off as an actress in the 80s with my Kenny G locks, but who bombed as a redhead in Faithful. Again, Nick. You are Cher. Cher, the answer for 200 bucks. I'll take, I've got hair like Kenny G for minus 250, please. All the way to the top value in that category, I'm the Yenel actress who gets roles like playing the cello in Mickey and Maud with my Kenny G look. Nick. You are Amy Irving. Another $250. I'll take, I've got hair like Kenny G for minus 100, please. I'm the singer-songwriter who feels the earth move under my feet when people say my hair reminds them of jazz man Kenny G. Again, Nick. You are Carol King. Carol King is right for another. I'm not here like Kenny G for minus fifty. Hey, Nick, you like that category, don't you? Yeah. Listen, players. I'm the flowing-haired Groundhog Day actress whose curly Kenny-esque hair is perfect for weddings or a funeral. Christopher. You are Andy McDowell. Hey, let's hear it for Christopher for fifty dollars. I'll take true lies for minus one fifty, please. Here's the question. By the way, all the answers in this category contain the words true or lie. I'm asking you, sugar. I'm the Eurythmics hit that queries, would I say something that wasn't true? Nick? You are, would I lie to you? That is correct for another 150 I'll take true lies for minus 200, please. I'm the name of Dick Tracy's girlfriend, Honest. Marshawn. You are Trixie? No. Anybody else? Christopher, Nick, Tess Trueheart. Tess Trueheart is Dick's girlfriend. Nick, select again, I'll please. take True Lies for minus 250, please. Try this one. I'm the movie directed by a talking head that's set in Texas and stars a sweaty John Goodman. Nick. You are True Stories. Another 250 for you. I'll take True Lies for minus 100, please. I'm the 1989 Steve Soderbergh movie where James Spader plays a jerk who's touched by filming women like Laura San Giacomo. Marshawn. You are Sex, Lies, and Videotape. Let's hear it for Marshawn. Her first $100. Very good. Um, I like 
Dan Quayle Spelling Bee for 200. We I figured we'd eventually get around to Dan Quayle Spelling Bee. This category requires you to spell words that are so easy, maybe even Dan could do it. Who knows? I'm how you spell the last name of me, Duke of Debt. Nick. You are M-A-R-T-I-N-D-A-L-E. You are Wayne. so right, and I'm so glad <laughs> you do that. Dan Quayle Spelling Bee for minus 150, please. Q is for quotient, but you don't have to spell that. I'm how you spell the I in IQ. Nick. You are I-N-T-E-L-L-I-G-E-N-C-E. -E -E. You got another $150 I'll for the word I'll take two lies for minus 50. Two lies. For minus 50. Final in that category, I'm the colorful Madonna CD filled with gems like Live to Tell and Papa Don't Preach. Nick. You are true blue. And you are red hot. <laughs> I'll take Dan Quayle Spelling Bee for minus 100, please. Maybe Dan Quayle was on to something. I'm how you spell potato the way our former vice president spelled it. Marshawn. You are P-O-T-A-T-O-E. Yes, for $100. Like, Less than two minutes remaining in general debt. I'd like Dan Quayle spelling B for minus 250, Wink. I'm how you spell the state named in the title of Denzel Washington's Masala movie about race relations in the Deep South. Marshawn. You are M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -I. Worth $250 to you. So like... I like um, Dan Quayle Cup Spelling Bee for minus 50 a week. Completing that category, I'm how you spell the month that has only 29 days during a leap year and 28 days during the other three. Marshawn. Um, you are F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y. You're doing very well. Yes, $50. This is the most difficult question on today's board in the opinion of our producers, and because of that, whoever answers this right gets $500. With characters like Dwayne Wayne hanging around, I'm the college that truly lets you know it's a different world. Marshawn. Mm, um, you are Morehouse? No. Anybody else? Christopher, Nick? Hillman College. Hillman College. Marshawn, select again. Um, I'd like to know you for minus 250, Wink. Here's the question. I'm the name of the university featured in the film Higher Learning that's named after that Italian guy who discovered America. Christopher. You are Columbus University. That is correct. Columbus University, select. I'll take um, fictional you for minus 150, please. I'm the 1984 film where geek Anthony Edwards and cool dude Ted McGinley battle it out for control of Adams College's Greek Council. Christopher. You are Revenge of the Nerd. Good for $150, select. Take fictional you for minus 100, please. I'm the film where Dean Wormer put the Delta House on double street probation at Faber University. Yeah. Christopher. You are Animal House. Yes. For $100. And that's the end of General Debt. And I'm sorry to say that you, Marshawn, have the highest score. Unfortunately, in our game, that means you are eliminated. But you're not going home empty-handed. Julie, what do we have for Marshawn? Well, Marshawn, to help you get back on the road to financial recovery, here's our very own debt piggy bank, along with a $200 savings bond. Go make a student loan payment. We'll be back to see Christopher and Nick battle it out for a chance to have us pay off all their debts right after this. everybody we're down to two players now nick is in the lead with minus seven thousand nine hundred ninety four dollars and christopher has minus eight thousand nine hundred forty four dollars it's a difference of only 950 i say only because 950 is not that much in this round of our game scores can change in a hurry at the end of this round though one of you the one with the least debt remaining will have a chance to have us pay off your entire debt but first we're going to play gambling debt in this round, I'll show you a category, and then you'll wager between yourselves to see who can answer the most questions correctly out of five. Category values naturally increase throughout the round. $300 will be at stake on this first category, which is magazines you find at your dentist's office. <laughs> Since you're behind Christopher, we'll let you start the bidding. Uh, I can answer three, Wink. How about it, Nick? You want to go for I can four? answer four, Wink. Christopher, you want to go for the full McGilla five, or you want to call him? I'll go for five. Go Christopher for five. says all five. <laughs> Christopher, if you answer all five of these, you get the three hundred dollars. We tighten the score a bit. Better for male patients than Novocaine. 
I'm our nation's best-selling sports mag with a popular annual swimsuit issue. You are Sports Illustrated. What else but Sports Illustrated? That's one you need four. For patients who don't like to read, I'm the magazine known for its pictures that shares its name with a breakfast cereal. Life! And the money goes to Nick. $300 from his debt. Life cereal, Life magazine. Let's go to our $400 category, and Nick, we'll start with you. Musical numbers. This category is about songs with numbers in their lyrics. Start, Nick. Uh, I can answer four of those, Wayne. Christopher. He feels pretty confident. And Christopher says, prove it, Nick. Four out of five will give you the 400 bucks, otherwise Christopher gets it. According to the 69 hit by Three Dog Night, I'm the loneliest number that you'll ever do. You are one? One is right. Here it comes. Here it comes. I'm the number of the Rolling Stones' nervous breakdown in their 1966 hit. Uh, you are eighth? No, 19th. However, I have three left here. You need all three of these to pick up the money. According to the musical stylings of Tommy Two-Tone, I'm the number you need to dial to reach Jenny. You are 8675309. You got it. That's it. <laughs> Two to go. Tell me, Nick, have you dialed that number before? Many times. <laughs> I'm the number of miles the Proclaimers sing about walking in the title of their hit song. You are 500, 500 miles. 500, yes. One more to go for $400. I'm the title of Meatloaf's song where he sings, I want you, I need you, but there ain't no way I'm ever going to love you. You are two out of three ain't bad, Wayne. Good for $400. Wow. He's red hot. Okay, let's move to our $500 category, which is Canada. More than just draft dodging. Yeah. All right, Nick, start the bidding. Uh, <laughs> I can answer three of those, Wang. Christopher. Uh, I can answer four. Nick. Prove it. Nick says prove it, Christopher. Now remember, four out of five, Christopher, will catch you up a little bit. $500 is at stake on these four questions to you. Thanks to NAFTA, I'm the handy product we Americans might be eating more of, and I'm the title of a John Candy film. Canadian bacon. Canadian. Four left, you need them all. I'm the nickname of Canada's peace officers on horseback, and Dudley Do-Right is one of me. You are... Mounties! And the money goes to Nick. $500 off his debt. Mounties, Canadian Mounties. Okay, now, Christopher, this is a must-win situation for you. If you don't get this category, you'll be mathematically eliminated, and obviously Nick will have won the game. All right, it's worth $750. The category is called the ABCs of Bad TV. This category is about cheesy TV shows that start with the letters A, B, or C. Nick, begin the bidding. I can answer four of those, Wink. The ABCs of Bad TV. I can definitely go for five. You want to go for five? Absolutely. Okay, Christopher, <laughs> if you can answer all five of these, you'll stay alive in the game. If you miss a single one of them, you're out of the game, and Nick is our champ. Okay. Question number one. Call me Mr. TTV. I'm the show where Face Man and Howling Mad Murdoch might blow up tons of stuff but never hurt a fly. You are... Oh, I don't know. The A-Team, and Nick's won the game. Wow. The A-Team. Christopher, I've never done this before, but I'm just, just for fun. Of course, this doesn't count because Nick has won the game. Let me ask you the next question All I would right. have asked. I'm just curious to see if you'd have gotten this one, okay? okay? I'm the 1986 sitcom where Sherman Hemsley played a deacon, and the prayer-ending word viewers probably said when it was canceled. You are amen. That's right. Yeah. However, Nick, you are going on to the final round with a chance to have us pay off everything you owe. Very cool. And you, Christopher, are going home with this. Julie. Well, Chris. I guess you should have studied a little harder, but it's okay because you're getting one of our debt piggy banks along with a $500 savings bond. Spend it wisely. Okay, we'll be back to see if Nick can move out of the red and into the black right after this commercial message.
If you would like to be a contestant on debt and you live in the L.A. area, call 213-468-3300. Dead, everybody. I'm standing here with our champ, Nick Bender. Nick played his first two rounds, eliminated his opponents, and knocked $3,450 off his debt. Now, Nick, Nick, like most of our college students, uh, got into debt because of student loans, right? Right, right. And those student loans occurred at? Uh, Emory Business School at Emory University. In Atlanta, Georgia? Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. That's right. And uh, this is going to help you out a lot if you're oh, uh, yeah. able to knock this oh, money yeah. off, right? Oh, yeah. Are you working yet? You're in yeah. Los Angeles now. I'm work I'm in what are you LA. doing? I work for a cable channel called the Popcorn Channel. Terrific. Yeah. I'll have to look that up. The okay. Popcorn Channel. <laughs> right now, we're going to look you up and see if we can get you some extra dough, okay? Excellent. How about it, audience? Can he do it? <laughs> You've earned the right to have us pay off your entire original debt of $9,089. It's a round we appropriately call Get Out of Debt. If you can answer 10 questions in 60 seconds, your debt of $9,089 will be completely wiped out. Are you up to this? Oh, yeah. Let's check your category. Give them L. All the answers in this category begins with the letter L. We set your expiration date at 60 seconds, and your time starts now. I'm the first name of OJ's Judge Ito. Lance. Yes, I'm what the bartender yelled, so you place your final drink order. Last call. Yes, I'm the Hispanic band of rockers whose name Los means... Lobos. Yes. I'm the Gilda Radner character who got noogies from Todd. Uh, pass. I'm the city where you'll find the University of Kentucky. Louisville. No, I'm the four-letter word for Hawaiian feast. Luau. Yes, I'm the Pierce Brosnan sci-fi flick about a guy who cuts grass. Lawnmower man. Yes, I'm the Los Angeles basketball team. Magic Lakers. J yes, upon finding him in Africa, I'm who Stanley presumed he was speaking to. Livingston. Yes, I'm the cup of soup company that dabbles Lipton. in dips. Yes, I'm the heavy-handed singer of Sundown, and if you could read my mind. Gordon Lightfoot. Yes, I'm the late-night show that's been hosted by Bob Costas and Greg Kinnear. Later. Yes! <laughs> With 17 seconds to spare. Yes! Congratulations to you. 17 seconds to spare. Well done. Well done. That's terrific. May I say to Nick, I'll be the first one to say, Nick, you are officially out of debt. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. By the way, the two you passed on, Gilda Radner character who got noogies from Todd, Lisa Lupner. We all remember Lisa, of course. Sure. The city where you'll find the University of Kentucky, a little off on that Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, we're going to pay off your entire debt of $9,089. But now you've got a bigger decision to make because we're offering you the opportunity to bet your debt. When we selected you to be a player on this show, you told us your specialty category in the world of pop culture was the films of Julia Roberts. So before the show, we prepared one question about the films of Julia Roberts. And if you can answer this one question correctly, we'll not only pay off your debt of $9,089, we'll also give you that same amount in cash. And here it is in this briefcase with our debt security guard... By the way, he's BMOC, bald man on campus. <laughs> Debt University is where he goes. However, if you go for this money and you miss, you'll lose everything. Big risk, big payoff. We're going to give you a little time to think on this as we take our final commercial break. We'll be right back, everybody. Congratulations, to you. Welcome back to Dead, everybody. Okay, it's decision time for Nick. Nick, you've had some time to think over our little conversation a few minutes ago. If you go for this question, it'll be worth $18,178. So my question to you, as always, is what's it going to be? Do you want to risk it all, go for the big payoff, or stop now and walk away with your bills paid off at $9,089? When... I love Julia Roberts, but I am going to have to walk. He's going to take it and run like a burglar. That's right. Fair enough. But as we always do, out of curiosity, let us take a look at this question and see what would have happened. How would you have handled this question, right or wrong, 
had you gone for the full total. Julia Roberts movies, your favorite subject in the world of popular culture. Question would be this. I am the full name of the character Julia Roberts plays in The Pelican Brief. Uh, no idea. Darby Shaw, you made the right decision. You're walking away with $9,089 in cash. Congratulations to you. That's all the time we have left, everybody. We'll be back next time with three more big spenders, and we'll do the best we can to help get them out of... Yes! Bye-bye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by Pierre Fernand Classique, high-quality Swiss time pieces. Classic styling with black dial, secondhand, calendar, and leather strap. Designed with 18-karat gold tone bezel from Pierre Fernand Classique. The new Todd Schlosser Model 151 Snowboard provides all mounting freestyle geometry and torsion cap construction for performance pros demand. New snowboards from Murder Manufacturing, Seattle, Washington. Coming up, Julia's alter ego performs in a nightclub on Designing Women. Next, tonight at 9, he abuses his wife. Can he be stopped before he turns deadly? Michelle Lee and James Farentino star in When No One Would Listen on the Lifetime Nighttime Movie.